Summerin, the key to the game, they've got to handle pressure. They have no shot in this game if they don't handle the pressure early on. And defensive rebounds, they've got a defensive rebound. Uh, they've got to limit uh, second chance shots for EKU. One of the best rebounding teams in the A side and one of the best offensive teams in the country. They started off emphatically with a Michael Wardy jam. They will press for 40 minutes. A.W. Hamilton, the head coach, calls his style of basketball the most exciting 40 minutes in sports. And we're off to an exciting start with a C.J. Fleming three to answer. And coming from Dylan Penn, as we talked as uh, a matchup player to, to, to watch here in this game, he got in early and created an open three for C.J. Fleming. The pace in this game is going to be lightning fast. That's how we've started in the first minute or so. Cooper Robs three is blocked by Dylan Penn, and here he comes. Fleming pulls up for two, fouled, rattles out, but C.J. Fleming, a 90-plus percent free throw shooter, will head to the line. And a great decision by C.J. Fleming to, to pass up the three, get in a little bit, uh, create a little bit of defense to him, and, and got a foul early on here. There's Scott Davenport. In his 17th season, second in Division I with these Bellarmine Knights. Guided Bellarmine to a 10-3 and A-Sun record last year. And this guy led the A-Sun in three-point percentage at 46%. He was fantastic last year. Off to a slower start shooting this season at 34. Bellarmine is a team at 30. They'll be facing a lot of the same teams, and that familiar territory may breed better stats. He's just got a quick release. He can get a shot off in most situations, uh, and when you can do that, it, it allows you to, to be able to, to get it a good shot and, and, and be able to have the defense come to you. Um, and that's why he's also off, great on the offensive side of creating those assists. He's got all five of Bellman's points so far. That last charge called on Richard Crookshank, fifth-year senior captain. Bellarmine a chance to extend its lead early to two possessions. Here's Penn of the post where he's so good. Double comes. Kurt Hoff, the freshman, coming off a career high 13 against Loyola Marymount. Open for three. Got it! And everybody can shoot it for Bellarmine. They've really got to get it on shooters. Uh, and it looks like Bellarmine's taking advantage uh, of some, some help defense early on here. Hope it a couple of threes against Loyola back to back. The first time he'd done that in his career. Keeps that stroke rolling against EKU early. Strong defensive possession for Bellarmine. Five on the timer and Betts has the steal. Bounce pass to Betts. Reverse misses. Hoff Bulldogs for the rebound. And he can Braxton Beverly in the game. Yeah, that's a quick sub. Yeah, he was a, a big time player for NC State. He was. Top four in program history in threes at NC State, a historic program. Coming back home to Kentucky. Vico, Kentucky native. Senior playing for A.W. Hamilton. Used to play for him at Hardgrave Military Academy. He's only 5'10". He's got the ball now, but he can really stroke it. Three on the shot clock. Shot clock violation. Nobody saw it. This defense early for Bellarmine Forest has been smothering. Yeah, we, we've talked about EKU and their pressure uh, full court before the game. And it, it, it's funny to see that Bellarmine's pressure at half court has been really, really dominating the game early on. It's led to a couple three-point uh, shots, early, early uh, points, and actually two layups that, that one of them we've missed. Uh, but, but great shots leading from, from their defensive side. Well, EKU just got a steal, and Dylan Penn, again, Bellarmine making a defensive play, got the block and trains it. How well Bellarmine handles that pressure today will most likely determine their success. EKU presses as much as anybody in the country. Disjointed possession here, Fleming, and the rebound to Brown. Devontae Blanton, 
so many different scorers on this Eastern Kentucky team. Brown's one of them. Misses a top of the key three, and the rebound to Betts, their leading rebounder this year. But a great possession for EKU. A couple extra, extra passes led to a wide open shot. Yeah, one of their best two looks tonight for sure, as Hove gets a nice look in front of the rim. He's got five, C.J. Fleming has five, and the Knights have their largest lead by eight. Eastern Kentucky picks second in the preseason poll, Bellarmine picked third. A couple of A-Sun Titans going at it tonight in Bellarmine's A-Sun opener. Brown doesn't get the roll, and Betts again there to clean up the glass. They're doing a really good job on the defensive side, Bellarmine is. We talked about how well EKU Rebounds the ball on the offensive side and gets second chance shots. So limited it has been a big key testament of what these guys do each and single day um, and an extension of what Coach Davenport wants to do on the road with recruiting as well. Jansen Williams into the game. He fires a three immediately. It's off the mark and out of bounds off C.J. Fleming and Bellerman. Williams, a Marshall transfer, sixth year senior, out recently due to health and safety protocol. He's back on the floor already, less than five minutes in. Their leading score at 12 a game this year. Number three in black. Williams, Braxton, Beverly, and Kurt Lewis with the ball now. All out due to COVID issues recently. But back for EKU, adding to their depth as Lewis, the Louisville native, picks up the and one. A strong take from the redshirt freshman. Played at Valley High School, a Mr. Basketball finalist. Eastern Kentucky, such a balanced team, missing three of their top scores. They've just felt out of rhythm recently, and getting these guys back is so big for them. Yeah, when it, you know, right now with adversity and with everything that's going on in the world, you've got to really adapt, right? And I think college basketball is a little different than it was four years ago. Um, and injuries is another thing, but also these these illnesses. We've, we've got to really be able to, to coach through that and play through those type of situations. A.W. Hamilton overjoyed to have them back on the floor. Fleming driving kick for Betts. Another offensive rebound for the Knights. And another wide open three for the Knights. Penn in that lane. That's where he's normally so good, just missed the floater. Lewis fires a quick three, and he got it. Eastern Kentucky shoots the most threes in the country. 35 per game. For perspective, that's more than half the NBA as Fleming's pushed from behind. A.W. Hamilton had quite a bit to say to his team in the most recent timeout. Let's check in with Olivia on what Bellerman had to say. Apologize for the technical difficulties. We'll get to Olivia in just a moment. Bellerman up by four. Knight's possession is Scott Davenport barks out motion. I'm sure you heard that quite a bit back in the day, Forrest. Yeah, that's a common thing for, for Coach to get into here, especially at a half-court set. Um, they're going to run it. It looks like EKU is doubling down a little bit. That The motion's really going to press down that defense, and, and it's getting open shots, as you've seen. I said it before, we Bellerman has had three or four open shots, uh, not hit all of them, um, but it's a good sign for Bellerman in the offense of what they're doing against this, uh, this pressure. Bellerman's normally a team that can really take care of the ball, and that bodes well for them in this type of matchup against EKU that thrives off turnovers. Freem on the back cut draws the foul on Lewis. And what you'll see in this game with, with the pressure of EKU, Bellarmine back cuts better than any other team in the A-Sun. So it, it really works to their advantage if they play their style and their culture of basketball um, because they're, they're in the passing lanes. They're overplaying those lanes because they're really looking for those steals. Alec Freem makes it a five-point lead. His highlight of the non-conference was a 22-point game for Scotty Davenport's group at 
Miami, Ohio. The Alec Freem game, a Bellarmine win, one of its best of the non-conference. Ended up 6-8. and eight. They were supposed to play Jacksonville State Wednesday. COVID issues canceled that. Or postponed it, rather. Alec Freem starting tonight for Ethan Claycomb, who's still out due to health and safety protocols. Alec's a guy that's always in the right place at the right time, and that's because he, he doesn't shortcut any drills or any plays. He doesn't take a def defensive playoff, uh, and, and he's a really big asset for the Bellarmine Knights uh, when guys are sick or hurt. Yeah, Scott Davenport said he just wins at everything. Their most valuable scorer off the bench last year, now a starter at this point in the season. Takes the three here, and the rebound to Moreno. Not much clean offensively yet for EKU. Bellarmine knows they shoot a ton of threes. Plenty of teams have been switching against Eastern Kentucky recently. Still adjusting to that. I think Bellarmine's done a great job of slowing them down offensively. You're, I haven't seen a ton of just a couple passes and, and a three or a, a, a drive and kick and a three from EKU. Um, it, it's 15 seconds in the clock. Frame from the corner, got that one. Freem has five, Fleming has five, and Hope has seven. Knights up by nine. Lewis, tough shot. They make 13 threes a game, but everything's been contested for the most part. What a back cut and feed from Penn. And you see the result of Bellerman hitting some threes, overplaying in the passing lane, and Freem, again, right place at the right time, back cut, open, uh, layup, and they're, they're doing a really good job offensively, uh, and they're really the aggressor on the defensive side as well in this game. All of that chaos leads to a Cooper Rob three, and he missed it. Best look for Eastern Kentucky today. Knights haven't shot it well from three this year. They'll take the back cuts all night. Blocking foul on Cooper Robb with Dylan Penn trying to get to that left block. All Bellerman early on here at Freedom Hall in their A-Sun opener. If they can't hit the threes, they'll take the easy twos. Ace-on opener for Bellarmine. They've been fantastic so far against Eastern Kentucky and Freedom Hall. Fourth all-time meeting between the in-state foes, so it's the rebirth of a rivalry with Eastern Kentucky's first season in the A-Sun coming over from the Ohio Valley Conference. Eastern prides itself on pressure for us. They press you full court. They press you in the half court. They shoot quick threes on the offensive end. A.W. Hamilton's group plays hard every single minute of the game. But Bellarmine's a good ball handling team. Seems like a matchup that favors them. Yeah, the problem with the pressure is if, if you get the first two pressures of the of the defensive play goes down, then then you're five on three. And we've seen that a lot. Uh, and it may not just wide open twos or back cuts, but they're the, the three-point shots that we've gotten or Bellarmine has gotten have been wide open. Um, and that's because they've making the defense collab just like that, and then they know their player is going to be there. They're three for six from downtown so far after that Garrett Tipton miss. Defensively, they've just swarmed Eastern Kentucky. Jamaru Brown way off the mark. Betts has a lot of space to operate. Tipton drive and kick. Freem knocks it down. Freem's got 10 points already, and the Knights have their largest lead by 14. Wardy in the post. Out to Crookshank. Another late shot clock possession three. Another air ball, and here come the Knights. Tipton. Finger rolls it in. Bellman defense is really, really getting 
a, a great momentum for them going downhill offensively. And, and Bellarmine looks really, really strong right now. Every aspect of the game, they're dominating. And they really know their assignment defensively. I, I, you know, defensively, they're hedging on back cuts on guys that they know that they're big back cut players. Uh, they're, they're there just one step away on shooters. They look really, really fine-tuned defensively. Freem for another one. And Freem is hot. Okay. He looks very, very smooth and confident out there right now. Can't leave Alec Freem that open. He's got three trays, 13 points, and the Knights are dominating by 19. Brown is denied. Wow. wow. And Penn draws the foul. And this is not what we expected coming into this game. We talked uh, pre-game about this being a really tight matchup. Uh, Bellarmine's taken on the assignment. Uh, they've done what they've been practicing for so long for, uh, and, and they look very, very, very uh, fine-tuned in this game. They're very impressive. Looks like a team that's rested for 17 days and game-planned for Eastern Kentucky's unique style. I think this is the best Bellarmine basketball we've seen this year so far. I would agree. A.W. Hamilton has some adjustments to make as the Colonels find themselves down 19 after an A-Sun opening loss to Central Arkansas, who was picked in the bottom half of the league. EKU was picked second. Not a warm welcome to the A-Sun. Five on the timer for Fleming. Gets it off to Tipton. And the rebound snatched by Blanton. Crookshanks is wide open, and he backs it. The first down assignment all game, uh, and just, just not finding a guy in transition. Um, Bellerman still, you know, even on that play, with that being down, they have had a great defensive uh, strategy. They're getting back on defense. That was the only missed assignment all game long so far. Zach Jennings into the game, has it stolen. Lewis swatted by Tipton, but a foul as well. Bellerman thin on players. You don't see Zach Jennings this early too often. Still dealing with some health and safety protocols issues. Jennings will bring that defensive effort that the group has shown tonight. Super impressive against what was expected to be one of the top teams in the A-Sun. Jennings, a sophomore out of Burlington, Kentucky. Kurt Lewis to the line again. EKU shooting 22%. And two for 11 from three. They're going to take their shots. Volume shooting team. But Bellerman has been great offensively, and Eastern hasn't. Simple as that. And a bad miss on the free throw. Kind of summarizing this start for EKU. And I think Bellerman's offense and how well they've played offensively, they've hit shots. I think it's really just taking the wind out of EKU early. Uh, we've kind of saw this in the Layola Marymont game with Bellarmine. They hit Layola Marymont early in the mouth, uh, and, and then they came back and they took that strong. EKU's got to be able to take this on a little bit stronger than they are now, uh, be able to take that hit in the mouth and then bounce back uh, the second half of this, the, the first game. First, second half of the first half. Fleming for a tough floater. Rainbows at home. Anytime EKU looks like he can get something going, someone has a response for Bellerman. Jansen Williams so far. Yeah, and Eastern's having a hard time even hit free throws right now. They, they you know, I think they're a little discombobulated by the pressure of Bellarmine, um, and Bellarmine's really hit them in the mouth as a, as a strong team and a, a fundamental team does. Um, it, it'd be interesting to see how EKU bounces back the second half. 
yeah, how does A.W. Hamilton's group respond to this? What do they need to change? Well, I think that, you know, bouncing back in and help side defense is, is one thing that they've definitely got to get out on shooters. Um, as the defense had collapsed, they're not finding shooters. Uh, Freem's ha got three threes. Uh, C.J. Fleming has a couple. I think that they should fall back a little bit on, on defense and, and allow Bellarmine to kind of uh, settle into their offense a little bit. I, I would never say that, but I think tonight the pressure is really getting um, Bellarmine open shots. A.W. Hamilton said, we're going to press, and it's either going to work or it ain't. Well, it hasn't worked so far. Bellarmine's been able to torch it to this point. We'll see what adjustments the fourth-year head coach will make. The final seven minutes of the first half. Now they shoot a ton of threes, and as we always talk about, that's the great equalizer in basketball, so still plenty of time left. Yeah, and I think the pressure from Bellarmine's been outstanding. I mean, we talk about the pressure EKU brings. Freeman has been unstoppable in this game, um, and he's got a great shot. He's playing confident, um, and he's just a great asset for Bellarmine when Clay comes down. He's got 15 points, did commit the foul on the three at the other end, sending Jansen Williams to the line. You're right, Forrest. His ability to step up with that big game at Miami, scoring 22 points, almost single-handedly got them that victory. And he's almost single-handedly on the offensive side, pushed him out to this 19-point lead. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's just... Guys finding him open and him being in the right time, the right place at the right time. Again, he's just the most fundamental, hardworking player on the court, and he knows that. And he he knocks down the shots. He gets an extra in the gym early, and he knows where his shots are going to come from. And um, he just he just plays his game. Knights will have him for another year. He's a junior. As Williams hits all three. And back out of health and safety protocols today. Played almost all the minutes after sitting on the bench the first few. Their leading score at 12 a game this year. Don't let that fool you. Eastern Kentucky has six players averaging double figures for 84 games a team. That's 11th in the country. This is a good EKU squad. That's just how good Bellarmine's been today. Great feed from Betts to Hof. And that play started in the inside-out play. The inside-out play, that's what Bellarmine's been doing, and, it, and it's created uneasiness on defense. Uh, and it just open shots and open layups uh, time after time. Open layup there for Cooper Robb, Georgetown, Kentucky native. Played at the same high school as head coach A.W. Hamilton. Scott County High School, just north of Lexington. Look at the ball movement from Bellarmine. Never settling for a, for a halfway decent shot. Uh, always bringing it to the middle and seeing how easy they can get a bucket uh, just like that right there. Betts' Odell catch on the sideline set up that little baby jumper from just in front of the rim. Bellarmine out to an 18-point lead again. Beverly from way downtown. That's a tough shot for even that high of a caliber shooter. Olivia Russell checked in on the Eastern Kentucky huddle during that timeout. Let's check in with Olivia. Get that mic working. 18 point lead for the Knights. Can push it to 20 on this possession. One on the shot clock for Fleming. Would have been the 6 3 for Bellman this game. There's another steal for Penn. He's running the show. And back to wide open, too. Everything just looks easy right now for the Knights. I think EKU is trying to thread the needle. They're looking for one pass score. Uh, against Bellarmine, they're in their assignments. Uh, they, they need to create. They need to have some screens, some ball movement, some in and out. They need to get the ball to Williams a little bit to create some of that pressure off of their outside guys. 
Blanton hit the last three for Eastern Kentucky. We're trying to set up that press and get a turnover. And that'll give a chance for a couple of subs to check in for Bellerman. Sam DeVault and Garrett Tipton. Again, it's the A-Sun opener for Bellerman where they were so, so successful last year. They won 10 games in a row in A-Sun play after losing their first two to Lipscomb. That was their first year in Division I. Had a chance to win the regular season conference title against Liberty last game of the year. Ended up falling to the Flames before Liberty ultimately went to the NCAA tournament. A remarkable accomplishment for a program so young in D1. And that's just Bellarmine knowing their ID, knowing their basketball. Their they, they followed their assignments early on, and, and they've had early success here. Uh, but but Bellarmine, they're playing their best basketball. See if he can, EKU can make a little bit of a run here. Again, this is a good team. They only lost to West Virginia, a team that Bellarmine also played. EKU lost to them by just three. They've been competitive with top-tier programs. It's not very competitive so far tonight. Now down by 15. Three and a half to go in the first. With the way they pressure and the amount of threes that they shoot, this is a team that can rally pretty quickly. Yeah, they they definitely play in the passing lanes. They can they can score ten points with ease uh, really fast. Uh, and if any team can do it, EKU has the talent and, and the ability. Uh, and they play that style of basketball to to really have a spurt to get them back in the game really fast. Penn finds his old teammate, DeVault. Played in high school together, missed the three. Blanton off the mark. Offensive rebound for EKU. Second try on the three ball, and they hit it. Kurt Lewis makes it a 12-point game. And then off of offensive possession, they look like a totally different team. Uh, they settled in, they make some uh, uh, passes back to the other side of the court, made a defense move, uh, and they got a good shot from it. Uh, and that's your EKU that we expected coming into this game. Looked like they just slowed down a little bit on offense. Yeah, I, I feel like they're really out of control right now. I think uh, Bellerman's really mentally uh, discombobulated them. Uh, on the offensive side, but also their pressure defensively has just been smothering, and I, I don't think EKU expected that. Fleming's now hit 28 consecutive free throws, a 95% foul shooter. Pardon, that's his 30th straight free throw after hitting two earlier this game. Bellarmine's a good defensive team. They're only allowing 68 points a game. They've held 10 straight under 80 points. That includes the likes of UCLA and West Virginia. They showed flashes of defensive brilliance in the non-conference. And for the most part, that's what they've been here in the first half. Absolutely. Uh, again, back to assignments. The, the coaching staff has really instilled in them what they need to do in this game. And, and they've gone out and, and they've performed that. Devontae Blanton has it going. Blanton now with seven points. 12-point game again. And Moreno has the steal. He leads the team in swipes. Michael Wardy shaken up behind the play. Jansen Williams will check in for him. This is already a banged-up team. They just got three players back, including Williams. Another look at it. Landed funky. Penn off Williams' knee. It's back to Bellerman. Bellerman is just playing super scrappy. Uh, there's a hand on the ball every time getting into the paint. Uh, there's a deflection on almost every offense of, uh, of a possession for, for EKU, and that makes it really hard to get in and settle in your offensive uh, sets. And nothing's been settled today for Eastern Kentucky, although they have looked better the last few minutes. 
They get another turnover here. That's the first time the press has really worked for EKU. They're plus seven in turnover margin a game. That's fifth in the country. They average 12 steals per game. That's third in the country. It's been a low turnover game so far, and that favors Bellarmine heavily. Williams one-on-one -on -one with a freshman. Got a foul on the floor. Sixth team foul on Bellarmine. Part in the fifth with about 84 seconds to play. More quick hands from Bellarmine. Justin Betts flying in. It's a team that hasn't shot it from three well, although they have tonight. They've had to rely on back cuts and defensive success, and those two have led to a lot of success for them overall tonight. As Williams strokes a three, and he knocks it down. It's a single-digit game. And that's who they need to get hot. Uh, uh, it's fresh points per game. Eastern well within striking range, trying to continue this push at the end of the half. And you can tell EKU coming out of that timeout, they had a little more confidence. And I, I'd see their pressure have a little more confidence uh, in the rest of this game as well. Seven for Fleming. That's a tough shot. And Freem fouls Blanton on the rebound. That's the sixth on Bellerman. EKU not quite in the bonus yet. Got 41 seconds here to try and trim this lead even more. You knew Eastern wasn't going to go down quiet. They're just too good of a team. And I, I can see their confidence start to trickle in into their play. Um, some guys are starting to not settle for, for shots. And uh, Williams is really going to get them going. He, he can set some screens, but he also is an extremely good cutter. Um, and I suspect that he's going to get going here the um, rest of this half and, and the beginning of the second half. Their NC State transfer, Braxton Beverly, has yet to get going. Scoreless so far. Bellman has the last shot. And this is a big defensive possession for EKU. Got the momentum now. Can they carry it through this possession? Fleming somehow wow. rolls it home. Some English on that. Wow. It's a 12-point lead at the break. They took a point off, changing a Jansen Williams three to a two. And we're underway in the second half. Justin Betts found some space on the baseline, closed quickly, and a foul on Cooper Rob. A lot of normal contributors for this Eastern Kentucky team just haven't gotten going yet. A team that scores 84 a game at just 29 in the first half. Speaks to the game plan we've talked about for Bellarmine, how well they've executed. Yeah, I mean, Bellarmine's really taking the matter of their game. So some guys that are usually not scoring are probably having to step up because they're not playing their brand of basketball currently. That slips off to Devontae Blanton. Crookshanks hits a three to start the second for EKU. Eastern's not going to go away. They press, they shoot lots of threes, and if those start to work, that's a formula for a comeback. 10 second count. Betts never got the ball over the timeline. And we knew that EKU would fall into their pressure. We saw it at the end of the second half of them getting a little bit confident, their momentum headed their way. Uh, you know, EKU has a, a, a Rick Pitino style of basketball. They're going to go as hard as they can. They're going to play with motion, and we see that on the bench uh, as they're picking up their teammates and they're starting to fill in this game a little bit. Blanton missed the three, but an offensive rebound. Lewis for a tray. 
another chance. Fourth go around, and Wardy sticks it home. And that's EKU basketball. They average 11 more rebounds a game than Bellarmine. And the first half, Bellarmine really contested them on the defense or the offensive rebound and second, second chance shots. Uh, and we see a lot of momentum on the boards here for, for the EKU uh, at the beginning of the second half. Of course, a tough shot from Fleming, and here they come. Once down 20, it's down to seven now. Double comes. Good switching from Bellarmine there. Hmm. Rob, shot fakes. Now on the back cut. Floats it up for the oop. Wardy the stick down. EKU within five. And the momentum really switched. EKU looks like Bellerman in the first half. A couple blocks, a couple offensive rebounds, and some easy buckets. They play above the rim. Great feed from Rob. Just a monsoon right now from Eastern to start the second half. And I think Coach Davenport is upset with that alley-oop. I think the ball was above the cylinder, and they are looking for a goaltending call. Didn't get it. Five-point game instead. Bellerman trying to stop the run. 7-0 to start the half for Eastern. And a steal from Wardy. Crookshank. That's an excellent box out from the freshman Hope. Fleming lost it. Bellerman will keep it. Knights with so much poise and discipline, as Scott Davenport said in the first half. Now he's seeing his team getting punched in the mouth to start the second. And I think this is where Bellarmine is really kind of struggling as a team, is, is when they are having that momentum and they see someone come back and hit them in the mouth, how are they going to respond? Uh, we saw Loyola Marymount, they, they had the better uh, of Bellarmine in that game, and, and, and here, how are they going to respond to, to, to EKU getting a little more comfortable to the way they're playing offensively and defensively? Great pump fake from Hoth after a good cut. That's more of the offense we saw in the first half from Bellarmine. They shot 56% in the first half. Rob, wrap around pass to Moreno straight in front of the rim. It's going to be a dogfight the rest of the game, folks. Fleming finds some space and twirls it in. And he picks up the steal. Heads up play from the sixth year senior. Freem knocks down another. He's got 18. Right place at the right time. Alec Freem has been outstanding. But CJ Fleming, what a heads up play by the senior guard to come back, get the steal, but bring it out and not force a bucket there and getting a wide open three. Uh, Bellerman playing at the highest ability at defensive side. They're giving up shots though, and EKU is getting that confidence. Jansen Williams the answer. Three starting to go down for both teams. More of a defensive first half at times. Offense firing for both to start the second. Freem. Oh, he can't wow. miss. Unbelievable. Alec Freem coming in hot. 21 points and five threes. Unconscious. It's safe to say Alec Freem is handling the pressure really well today. Stepping in for Ethan Claycomb. Freem has been dynamite. And a steal by him. Deflects it to Betts. Knight's now making a push. No call. Hope saves it. Freeman in the corner. Timeout Bellerman. Bellerman's responded by hitting four of its last five. And Alec Freeman's hit a couple of threes to weather the storm.
Dylan Penn hasn't had to do too much. It's been a team effort so far this game. Freem on the cut this time. You know what I like about it? Alec Freem is hot, but they're not actually looking for him to get a shot. And that's creating better shots for him um, in the back cuts or, or just coming off of a drive and kick. And that's what EKU needs. Williams is absolutely their go-to player offensively. And if they want any shot today, he has to step up and create uh, shots for himself and other players. Yeah, he's starting to get going. Beverly, NC State transfer. A sharpshooter missed the first, missed the second as well. Alec Freem there for a rebound. He's everywhere. Here comes Dylan Penn. They really need him to get inside and out. And, and that's what EKU is going to try to get to some open shots for, for Braxton Beverly. Uh, but Williams has to touch the ball. Coming back from health and safety protocols for the first time in a couple of games. Rebound to Betts. Speaking of EKU, let's go to Olivia Russell. each other. Coach Hamilton said they're starting to figure out what works against this Bellarmine defense, so they need to keep taking those shots, do what they've taught, been taught, and he's optimistic those shots will start to fall. Jack Forrest. KU has taken 23 so far. Fleming takes a three himself. Beverly wide open and a soft shooter's touch. What a roll. Betts had an open layup for a moment. Blanton closed out and Moreno cleans up the board. They can cut it to one possession for us. He's a, such a quick shot. He, he's very similar to C.J. Fleming, how scrappy he is. But he has a quick release, and, and he can get a shot at any time. Uh, he's a great player for them that hasn't really got going. He's had some open shots. But, man, if he gets going, he, he's a tough player to stop as well. He led North Carolina State in minutes his sophomore year. He was more than a role player for the Wolfpack. As there's another turnover for Bellerman. The elect EKU joined this year. The only two Kentucky teams in the A-Sun Conference. Bellman led by 20 in the first half. EKU can cut it to one possession on the rally right now on this side of the floor. They swing it to Lewis, and it's a three-point game. The Louisville native has 12, tied with Williams for the team lead. Bellman breaks the pressure and settles in. Dylan Penn's been quiet tonight. Preseason all A Sun. Got a foul on Eastern Kentucky. Cooper Robb whistled for it. Penn has been held scoreless tonight, Forrest, and he averages 16 a game. I think the assignment was to really contain Penn, uh, and Bellman's done a good job. And just like every other Bellerman team, they, they have guys that can pick up the slack. Uh, that's one beautiful thing about Bellerman basketball. Um, but they're really pressuring them. You can see here the second half, they're really, really doing a good job of, of making Bellerman turn the ball over. But if it's not a turnover, it's a deflection into a pass that can't be a shot. They've been throwing doubles at Penn all night. And at times, like there, he's had some trouble passing out of it. They can tie the game on this possession. They've got to know where shooters are. EK has, EKU has so many shooters, you cannot turn your head on, on a help side at one possession. Every single player out there can shoot threes and shoot them pretty well, too. Fleming can shoot it, and he knocks it down. 
And Bellarmine's just shooting the lights out tonight. They're getting great shots. Alec Freem, CJ Fleming. Dylan Penn hasn't sh needed to score this game because other guys have hit big time shots. Williams. And Alec Freem there for a big time rebound for the Knights. So Fleming had the answer when EKU cut it to one possession. Big possession right here for Bellarmine. Better pass that time from Penn out of the double. And a Bets. great, great, great look, though, by Bellerman. You will take that if you're Coach Davenport. Inside outlook and obviously the wide open shot. They'll take that 100 times out of 100 times. Winding the shot clock down. Lewis rises. A tough shot. That one was contested for Lewis. Eastern looking for its first ace on win. Upset by Central Arkansas, fellow ace on newbie on Tuesday. Tough battle with Bellerman tonight. Fleming, he's on fire! And both teams, the fire. Here comes Freedom Hall. The Knights, the. F you could see him pumped up too after that three. He's the vocal leader, three time captain for this team. First ever three time captain in Scott Davenport's illustrious coaching career. And I think Bellarmine has surprised EKU. I, I think be before the game, we saw EKU's players watching Bellarmine uh, work out. And, and if you see the, the team, it, it definitely looks like EKU's a little more physical. They have a little more athleticism. But Bellarmine has really played a better be game of basketball. They're winning the rebounding battle by five right now. Physical on the inside tonight. Lewis gets the blocking foul. Fleming upset about it. So Scott Davenport. And I think they're upset because the last charge called against Bellerman was very similar to that. They've tried three times. It's a, it's a, it's a team that is high level taking charges. We've seen that several times. And, uh, you know, when they don't go your way, it's frustrating because that's a play that you assert your whole body, your energy into. Uh, and so when it doesn't go, go your way, it really can deflate you. That'll make CJ and Scott pretty happy right there. EKU is absolutely uh, atrocious at the free throw line tonight. They, they have got to the charity line and I've maybe only seen him one hit, hit one free throw. Can he hit this one? Off the heel. CJ will probably say ball don't lie. Bang bang call though could have gone either way. One of the toughest calls in basketball is oh, the yeah. charge call, especially with the arch now. Back cut. Pen. Oh, it just twirls out. A little too much English on it, but what a great look by CJ Fleming. That's Bellarmine basketball. They keep doing that, and they'll take that every time down. And on the floor, what hard play by Betts. They're twisting all over the place. Good recovery from EKU on defense. Hof, great move. In. What a great footwork for a freshman. Got the guy on his side, a little English, a solid smooth move by the freshman. Ties his career high at 13. And if you're a Bellarmine fan and this is your first game of the season, you will be back. What a heck of a ball game so far. Does Eastern have an answer? Blanton rises. Tough shot. Bats a strong rebound. 8-0 run for Bellerman. Big possession here. Hove with the right hand. Bellerman up 13. And Coach Davenport 
smiling ear to ear. The young freshman, that's what they've been missing underneath all year long to see him come to life, the footwork. That is amazing as a young player to have that and go head to head at this level. They felt he was under recruited. They felt they stole him. He's got a career high 15 tonight and a foul on the pass. Yeah, and I'm really impressed by Bellerman uh, to playing early on, but a EKU falling into their sets, falling into their game plan, but also coming back and not allowing them to continue their momentum. Uh, Bellerman looks really tough. Third chance here for EKU out of the break on this possession. And EKU looks their best when their offensive rebounds are going their way. That is their game, is early shots, hit the boards, and then get second hit chance shots. They just haven't shot it too well from downtown today. 31%. That's a deuce for Crookshank. Here comes the pressure. CJ Fleming says clear out. Freem takes his eyes off the ball. And, and C.J. Fleming had the ball. He's bringing it up. It was clear. I felt like we, Bellerman, Hof, brought his defensive player to him. After they get to a certain extent, C.J. Fleming, D Dylan Penn, they're strong enough to handle that pressure. Bellerman just needs to clear out. Freem knocks it right in front of us. See if that turnover can spark an EKU rally. They were down 20 points in the first half. Cut it to 12 at halftime. It was down to three just a few minutes ago. Does EKU pick second in the preseason poll, have one more run? Turnovers will not help the cause. And I think the difference in this game is Bellerman takes every possession as this is the most best the, the most important possession of the game. And I think EKU plays so fast that they settle for shots. And in this game, it's really worked against them. Freem has 23. Couldn't hit that time. Save from Penn. Knights are going to run some clock here. And a travel. Scott Davenport was barking at Justin Betts about something. Didn't look clean on that offensive possession for Bellerman. But I think Coach is wanting CJ to come get the ball, right? I think with their, their pressure, uh, they're, they're wanting the ball in CJ's hands. And, and that's what Coach is telling him to say, CJ, come get the ball, run the offense. Williams driving kick for Crookshank. Another kid that can get EKU in the game back fast. He's playing with momentum. He's quick. He gets a good shot off, and he has the ability to get him back in this game. Eight-point game, and Eastern has the ball after C.J. Fleming was called for the offensive foul. That was an excellent trap set up by EKU. And their pressure is, is affecting Bellerman. We saw it a couple times in this game. Uh, it's coming down the wire. As you said, it. this is going to be a dog fight. Uh, but, you know, Bellerman has them where they want them. They just have to, have to handle that pressure late in this game. Crookshank just hit the three and made the defensive play. Eastern's not going away. Brown. Like you talked about, Forrest may have settled there. Yeah, I, I just do not like that shot. It, it, you have the momentum, and you take a contested three that's three feet behind the line. That is not how you get your, your team back in the game. That's part of their style, though. They shoot 35 a game. Contested, open, they launch them. They pick up a turnover here. Brown. Storm for EKU. We're in a really precious uh, state right now for, for EKU. Um, and they've, they've got to get good shots. I think they're taking some bad contested shots at, a, at some really critical moments. Blanton. Floater. No. The tip, though, goes from Brown. Bellerman really needs to get back to blocking out every possession. Uh, we've seen a ton of second chance shots that's really put EKU back in the game. 10-7 on the offensive glass, EKU. They've come in critical moments. Two possession game again. Bellerman's had an answer all night. Dylan Penn's been scoreless. Their leading score at 16 a game. Can he get going? 
Near walk there from Betts. Five of the timer for Fleming. Tough shot. Air ball to Brown. Here come the Colonels. Ball movement. Williams. Three point game. And we said that is your player for Eastern Kentucky that is going to get it done. He comes up at a critical moment for them, and Bellman really needs to respond here. They haven't looked very confident in offense in the past three or four possessions. They've had a tough time offensively here in the second half. Hof. <clears throat> Offensive rebound, Betts. Penn still scoreless, and a foul going the other way. I'd like to see Penn get actually to the rim. Uh, he's more physical. He, he, he's great with a player on his back. I would love to see them post him up and let him go to work, get some confidence late in this game. They're going to need him the last two minutes and 30 seconds because EKU has really turned it on on the offensive rebounds. Preseason all A's son, EKU's been keen on him. Missed some open looks, hasn't gone his way tonight. Bellman will need him to step up the final 229. One and one for Eastern. Blanton knocks it down. A.W. Hamilton's group has fought. Nothing's been easy for them today. Rough offensive game for the most part, but they're down just two. Could you imagine if they hit their free throws? Yeah, 50% tonight. Big possession for Bellerin. And Freem lost it. EKU can tie or take the lead. They haven't led since the opening dunk from Michael Wardy. Bellerman's led by as many as 20. <laughs> Offensive foul. They get Blanton for the push-off. And finally got an offensive foul called their way. They've been looking for that all night. Uh, couldn't come in a more critical moment for them. Took a lot of time off the clock, too. Yep, easy call. Here comes the pressure. Tough inbounds for Betts. They get it to Penn. Calmly across the timeline. Ninety seconds to play. Need a little isolation here for Dylan Penn. Just one on one and go to work. Here he comes, and he gets the foul with two on the shot clock. Colonel's not close to putting Bellman in the bonus. That's just the fourth team foul. So Bellman will throw it in, but the shot clock back to 20. They can waste some more time here. And how we? Run the exact same thing again. Go to Dylan Penn. Let him get to the middle of the floor. Betts tried to throw it off Williams, but he steals it. Eastern's pressure. And Bellman's no door open for us. And Bellman's really falling apart offensively. We've seen Alec Freem with the spin and the fall down. We've seen that turnover there. They've really got to defensively get some confidence here and run a set set. Uh, but first, they have to block out uh, and get a defensive rebound. Let's see if they can do it. Beverly for the lead. Rebound to Fleming. Beverly's been ice cold all night. And a great play, a great shot by EKU. They have to be happy with that. That's what they drew up in, in the timeout, and, and they got a good shot. Fleming hounded by Brown. And Bellman needs to make cuts. They're, everyone's standing around, coming to the ball, allowing the double pressure. They need to get to the middle of the court and flash. So that foul on Blanton, that's the fifth on Eastern Kentucky. They need two more in the final 36 seconds to put Bellerman in the bonus. Bellerman can take it down to 15 seconds right now, the way the game and shot clock stand. Be a heck of a time for Dylan Penn's first bucket. Doubled, pushed out of bounds. 
Sixth team foul on EKU. So, Hof here, uh, you know, for Bellarmine, they've got to go inside a little bit too. Dylan Penn is taking the pressure. They're doubling it. They've got to get to the elbow and then dumping down to the big guy. And I think that's going to alleviate a little of this pressure and create those open shots they were getting on in uh, early on in this game. Crookshank pressuring. Fleming's a great free throw shooter. Next foul puts Bellerman in the bonus. Fleming is tough fouled. shot. And Unbelievable one. tough shot by the senior. He had an assignment and he did it and he did it well. CJ Fleming, that is the biggest shot all game long. Rise to the occasion, CJ Fleming. Some tough possessions by the Knights the past couple uh, six minutes, uh, but really capitalized there. A tough shot by a veteran, mentally just strong to make sure that he gets a, a couple inches open and, and took a great shot. Five point game, 22 points, matching his career high. Just reached 200 threes as well this game in his career. And Bellman's got to watch Williams. They've got to watch Braxton Beverly. Uh, they really, really can shoot it at any uh, Dylan Penn to zero points or how well Bellerman's played. And they're up five points against EKU with Dylan point, Penn with zero points. Beverly, no. Jostled around. Buzzer sounds.